South Shore and Bruce Lee. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful leg kick thrown. Just out of the range with that right hand. Another punch position. It's such a fast leg kick. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Control the pace. 
Nice straight punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Misses with the left hook. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Right hand upstairs. Round one winding down here. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, man! A huge kick to the body. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. You're good, you're good. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Great punch. Just over three minutes to go. Big head kick land. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Well placed kick there by Lee. Tags him with the left. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big head kick. Pretty good knee to the body by Liv. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. put himself into the half guard, like the control, yep. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Choi's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Back to the feet now. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Another shot lands upstairs. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Able to land with the left hand. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him. 
over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't great, oh! he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And he continues to work the body here. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He got him. Oh, misses with the jab. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these. He's out! Wow! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot.